You've been building with Media Query to tailor your app to user devices, but are you sacrificing app performance? The Media Query object contains useful information about the media that your app is running on, such as the current window size, whether accessible navigation is enabled, and the current font scaling factor. All of the Media Query data is accessible using its static of method. This method takes a build context and triggers a rebuild whenever a Media Query property changes. If you call Media Query dot of context within a widget's build method, your widget rebuilds any time the data changes, guaranteeing that your widget has the latest values. Pretty neat. But there's a small gotcha with that. Your widget rebuilds when any of the Media Query properties change. Media Query has nearly 20 different properties. That's a lot of potential rebuilds. For example, when the virtual keyboard is opened and closed on mobile devices, Media Query's view insets property changes. Even if your widget doesn't care about the view insets property, having called Media Query of forces you to rebuild every frame while the keyboard animation is playing. To get the best of both worlds and only rebuild when the data you care about changes, use Media Query property of for each individual property. To get the size property from Media Query, call Media Query dot size of. Or to check if accessible navigation is enabled, call Media Query dot accessible navigation of. Take the property name you're interested in and call Media Query dot property name of. Now your widgets will only rebuild when the relevant Media Query property data changes. Your widgets get the latest Media Query data without sacrificing performance with unnecessary rebuilds. For more info on Media Query and all of the other Flutter development techniques, head to flutter.dev.